What's up guys, it's time to talk about the undisputed king of smartphone, the OnePlus 6 and its massive upgrade. OnePlus 6 is about to go Kaioken 10 times and become OnePlus 6T, the T brings the real gains, some new exciting stuff is coming and it's going to be a massive upgrade indeed. For $550, OnePlus will once again bring meaningful upgrades to the existing OnePlus 6 which is arguably one of the best smartphone in the world right now, it's one of those phones which you can just recommend to almost anyone and now it's about to get even better. First up is the existence of the OnePlus 6T is confirmed by Russian agency. This is the first official confirmation that the phone exists and that it will indeed be introduced this year. The model number OnePlus A6013 has been certified by EEC. No specification info revealed but we already know that it's going to have the Snapdragon 845 processor with 8GB of RAM similar to OnePlus 6 which is still the fastest phone I have ever used. Near Android and OnePlus optimization brings the real speed. It's also been leaked that the T-Mobile will be selling the OnePlus 6T in US for $550. So the price has increased about $20 compared to the OnePlus 6. It has been in the leaks and report. The question is, what are you getting new for those higher $20. Well, first up is a new design change. OnePlus 6 has one of the best notch implementation in my opinion. It is small, it doesn't show up when gaming or watching YouTube, and the screen intelligently takes up the most of the area without shoving that notch in your face. Now this notch is about to get even smaller with a smaller chin as well. Enter the teardrop notch, very similar to the Oppo R17, which was recently announced. This means when watching media, you'll have more screen area to play with compared to the OnePlus 6 because the notch is smaller giving you near 93% screen to body ratio. So this is expected to happen most likely a teardrop notch but one interesting thing is according to Giz China they have mentioned in a report that OnePlus 60 might actually come with a moving camera system or mechanical camera system similar to Vivo Next to get rid of the front camera and achieve that full screen look before the Galaxy S10 or the next iPhone of course with the sacrifice of durability. The possibility of this happening is real I mean the company BBK Electronics who own these brands they have done it already with Oppo and Vivo and doing it with OnePlus 60 might be possible. The screen will go all the way up with no notch or any kind of interruption giving you a full screen look which is something Samsung or Apple hasn't achieved yet. The second half of 2018 year is filled with phones with no massive upgrades so a OnePlus 60 actually comes with this then it could be a game changer again it does sacrifice some of the durability aspect but good lord the display without boundaries provides an amazing experience it's like future is already in your hands so there's a slight chance of this but most likely i think the teardrop notch will be debuting on the oneplus 60. now the other thing that is expected to happen is the in display fingerprint scanner it's not even a secret anymore i mean vivo and oppo both have really these so many phones with an in-display fingerprint scanner. They have improved it to the extent that it is dependable, it is fast and accurate. Now we don't know if it's going to be the ultrasonic one which is coming with the Galaxy S10 but you can definitely expect an in-display fingerprint scanner on at least one of the OnePlus 60 variants because it is a signature feature of these Chinese phones. So OnePlus like I said is associated with the Oppo and Vivo so it makes sense that this phone can come with an in-display fingerprint scanner. Not to mention, we do have the facial scanner as well. Now, one thing where I think OnePlus 6 lacks compared to the Apples and the Galaxies is in the camera department. So OnePlus is expected to improve the camera further with OnePlus 60 with possible integration of AI enhancement. The battery size is expected to go up as well, probably around 3500 to 3700 mAh size in order to rival the likes of Galaxy Note 9. With all of this, you can also expect a new color to debut with the 60 as well. A gradient color is expected to come with the 60 to make it stand out compared to the previous generation. Again, all of this with just the $20 increase in the price. And the best of all is that it's going to rock the final finished version 
of Android 9.0 Pie. It's going to be near stock, and of course, with OnePlus customization and optimization, making it extremely fast, like the current model, which by the way, already has the beta Android Pie going on. And by the time the OnePlus 60 comes out, which is expected in November, you can expect the current model to get the final update as well. So that's all that is expected with the OnePlus 60, making it a more futuristic version of the OnePlus 6. Honestly, design-wise, OnePlus 60 is winning over the Pixel 3 XL, and it's gonna have the near stock Android as well. So it could be the phone to go with if they also improve the camera massively, which is the best thing about the Pixel. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, what you think about the OnePlus 60, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.